Hey everybody, it's me here, place right here. And today, we're gonna do a review on the Lenovo Yoga 900. And yet, see, is this a true, real good ass computer that can beat out other laptops, such as the Dell XPS 13? Let's see. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna have the specs of this laptop listed on the screen right now, so y'all can actually take a look at the specs. And for I/O, on the le on the right, we have a power right there, a hard drive indicator, um, a headset port, uh, this one another button that's to lock the rotation, so it w the screen will not rotate, and we have one headphone jack combo with microphone and a USB USB 3 yes and on the other side let's take a look on the front we have nothing because there's no need to have anything in the front on the left we have a power and USB jack which is the one in the orange color we have one USB 3.0 jack a Thunderbolt connector and a, mic and a SD card slot Quite interesting. At the top of this laptop, we have two speakers, two speakers at the bottom there, one and two. Yeah. At the back of this laptop, we have nothing. Just that this wonderful hinges that I'm about to show you what it can do, which is quite spectacular. It's unlike like any other laptops in this world that I've ever seen. Maybe a few others have replicated this, but I think this is um, some really amazing technology that I found. So. Right now, where's it gonna look at me? If the camera does move a bit, okay. So, right now you think, I'm gonna ban, I'm actually gonna ban this laptop. So, it's here. this is how it looks now. And look what you can actually do with this laptop, which is quite amazing. Okay, do you see this part? Now, you could ban it a 360, all the way 360, to use it as a tablet, which is quite interesting. 360 use it as a tablet, or you could do this, then you can watch your movies on. And I think we have rotation lock on, so let's turn it off. And my friends, this is 360. This is exactly 360, and it's, well, quite amazing. Here's a bit of a size comparison on how thin this laptop can actually be. Let me just, like, close it. Okay, so this is the lid closed, or you could say the whole laptop closed and carrying, so you can actually move it. And this is the Singapore one dollar coin. You can clearly see it's not a, it's it's less it's le not even as thick as a one dollar coin, like this height when it's fully closed. It's not even as tall as the one dollar coin when it's completely closed up, which is quite amazing. And it weighs even lighter than a Dell XPS 13 which is currently number one now on the editor's choice for working laptops. So it is extremely light. I can even hold it with one hand and it's quite light. Just amazing. But when it's light, it still comes with some disadvantages, such as you can't open it with one hand. Well, that desk doesn't work. So you need to have one hand down here, then lift it up. And this thing is rocking an SSD, so, well, from sleep mode to on, that doesn't take long, it really comes on. Yes, yes, there's a, um, like, turn it off, shut down. Ah, uh, it's shut down anyways. Look at how fast it's going to turn on. I might edit it in, it's going to take less than one second. Let me just take my phone or my desktop watch. Okay, my stopwatch is on. Now let's turn it on and let's go. Oh come on, I actually just messed it up. Okay, I need okay, three, two, one, and go. Did I not press it? Oh yep, it's turning on. See it slowly turning on. Turning on, turning on, turning on, and that's about 12 seconds, which is quite fast. It's better than a normal um, mechanical hard drive, and this is a solid state drive, which is extremely fast. 
But SSDs nowadays are um, they don't have much storage, so this actually comes with about 150 or 78 storage, 170 plus. It's not that much, truly. It's really not that much. But this is why they gave you an SD slot right here. Because with this SD slot, you can buy like a 128 gig SD card and slot it in here, and you can have all your games. One thing for sure, this laptop is not meant for gaming because it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. All it has is a Intel graphics card, with Intel graphics card, which is absolutely perfect for gaming. Yeah, perfect. And if you do not understand what is a cast, um, if you don't understand what it, I meant by that, this means it's really bad for gaming. So don't. This is all for working. It's only a working laptop. Same as the Dell XPS 13. If you can go check it out right now. I'll link it in the description down below, so if you want to know. It has about a whopping 12 hour battery life with touch screen or so. So from the Windows Home button, I can actually do this. Swipe it up. And then, um, it appears it's in tablet mode, so I'm going to have to key in the password, so just give me a while. The screen is extremely bright, as we can tell. We are outside, not in my office, so yes, the screen is extremely bright. For camera, you actually go through. You see how good of a camera it has Sky video, I did not want Sky video, come on man it's running Windows 10 right now, rocking it just have camera, where's the camera at? come on can I just search? please can I just? okay, we're going to launch the camera let Windows access the location, go ahead you can see, it's quite decent this camera is not doing, our, my camera here is not doing that much justice to it but man it looks nice it, come, it comes with a whole bunch of reflections you can tell the screen is not matte so there is a bit of reflection in your background but the camera is actually quite clear, it picks up every single detail you know what, I'm gonna even gonna take a picture of the surrounding just right over there I'm gonna take a picture of that surrounding using this camera's front facing camera and yet see how well it looks. Just give me a moment. A bit. Just give me a moment. Here's the picture. Not as good as like your iPhone, I don't know what, 7 or uh, or your Samsung Galaxy Note 7 that you have to have a fire extinguisher next to your bedside every day. Um, yeah, not as good as those cameras but perfect for your like your office. In case, because remember this is not a gaming laptop. It's good for conference calls when you want a, your client to see you. Or um, like if you want us to, don't know, Skype call a whole bunch like of 30 people behind you or call someone but I don't think you can call someone with this. But whenever the camera is on, you, there's a small little LED indicator right there so that's quite helpful. So in case someone is hacked into your laptop and wants to spy on you with your camera, you can at least see it's working and you know what's going on. It's really amazing. And with this laptop, it comes with Office 365 for about one year. And you know, it actually didn't come with it, you had to buy it at Courts. That's where we bought it from because, man, they didn't have this other, at other places. But this laptop is sure uh, nice. The viewing angles on this laptop is also not bad. As you can see, it has quite a wide range of a viewing angle. You can see it's so wide of a range. It's a few bad things that this mouse pad right here, it's kind of weird to use. It's like touching your iPad. It's like an iPad, but yeah, to close things you have to like just tap on it, and then to drag things is a bit weird. As I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, so let's say I wanna drag this you this uh Google Chrome. So I'm just gonna tap, then I have like to press down on it, then move, but I can only move it for such a short distance, so it feels really weird, and it's a bit too sensitive, because as my dad used it for um, Excel, it's a bit sensitive, and a touch screen, you can't have big fingers, remember, no big ass fingers. Well, I'm actually going to show you guys a bit of a reference on how big this screen is, so my arm is here, well that's about 13 inches, not so big. Not so big, but it comes with a few things from the vendor, which is not bad. It is a Lavendo laptop, one of the longest lasting that actually 
one of the best laptops I'll say because the vendor bought over uh, IBM which is IBM is a company that actually builds laptops for such a long time so yeah it's good let's see what's the battery life at 96 12 hours and 32 minutes remaining and guess what this is outside and the screen brightness is not even max let's see what happens if we put it at 100 so now it's jolly bright this is how dark it can go almost you can't see nothing 25, 50, let's leave it at 75 which is not bad this is quite a good laptop and if you put on battery saver it also uh, increase your battery life but it depends on what use you're using it sometimes it might not actually be 11 hours sometimes it could be about you could say 6 hours or 10 hours it depends whether like, you're using applications that are using a lot of memory on your device and stressing it to the max so and this keyboard is also not too bad the keyboard is actually quite good I don't feel like it's um, bottoming out too hard right here it's quite easy it's quite nice to use it my dad really likes it and the F1 and F like a whole bunch of keys the top keys have been fully utilized you can see up there quite good I'm sorry that it's a bit shaky because my tripod is really bad. It's bro probably broken. Yeah, you can see the keyboard has been utilized quite nicely. It it uh, it comes with backlit, a backlit keyboard, which is not bad. Good for working at night if you want to. The fans are right here, on this side and here. The speakers are the side. Not too bad sound quality. As um, you're probably not gonna be gaming on this laptop and playing badass like dubstep music, so won't expect much from the speakers and the fan is mostly very quiet under office loads not gaming loads okay you're not meant to game on this laptop remember that so this me actually what I'm just actually gonna do a last over over like overview of this laptop and a bit of b-roll okay guys would I recommend people buying this laptop yes because of its price and the amount of features they're getting is actually quite good and you could even watch this like on, the, on you can use this as a tablet basically you can bring it upstairs to your bedroom then use the 360 function just to sort of lie it down so you don't actually need to hold it and use it as a small little tv to watch a korean drama or whatever you want to watch it can do very light gaming i think because it has enough ram and enough cpu power and hopefully enough graphics and it is quite light and thin so you gotta be careful and not to put too much pressure down and display and not it might warp a bit it can actually just go down and up making this sort of like a trampoline a mini trampoline so yeah definitely i would ask people to buy it because it's actually very nice it's quite a nice laptop for its price and yeah so if you do enjoy this wonderful video and review if you like just share comment down below and it's me, Camera Place here, signing out. I hope you dudes enjoy this wonderful B-roll, and I'll see you again another day.